everyone. So today I'm here with my friend Joey. Hello there. And we are discussing love languages. So I wore my love language sweater. Wow. <laughs> so we just finished shooting a video for Joey's channel where we talked about his love language and he took the test and we talked all about it. And for those of you who don't know what love languages are, love languages are... English, okay. Spanish, French, um... What other languages are there? Today's typerific, I'm telling you about the love languages, and for those of you who don't know, as I was saying, it's touch, quality time, words of affirmation, gifts, and acts of service. I don't think I said that one. I think that's all five. Those are the five different ways that we generally receive and show love, and everybody has um, ones that are stronger than the other ones. So it usually comes in a ranking system of like which ones are number one, second, third, fourth, and fifth. And some people are like barely any of them at all. Like some people are just not gifts people. Some people are. I thought you meant like total. Like oh. they're, they're none of <laughs> they these languages. They never show they love. They just don't love any. <laughs> no, I just mean like. Some people just don't have gifts at all, or some right. people don't have words of affirmation at all. And I'm going to explain a little bit more at the end of the video, um, a longer description of each thing. So I'm actually just going to take the test right now, because I haven't taken it in a long time. And um, I know that growing up, my love language was gifts, primarily, so I would get really excited for birthday presents, and if somebody didn't get me a birthday present, I would I would just be like... Shunned. I'd be like, why don't, I'd be like, why don't they like me? Like, am I not important enough to them for to buy me a present? And yeah. like, my parents, like, anytime my dad would go out of town, he used to travel a lot when I was young. He would just like buy me like a pencil from the state that he visited, or be like, like yeah. No, and I, I liked oh, it. Oh. He, like, I was a kid, and I, like, anytime my dad brought something back, I would like scream with excitement. I was so excited. And my other siblings, like, they were happy, but oh, I need to start they, getting you pencils. <laughs> I actually had a pencil collection when I was a kid. Really? So he would get like pencils that had the state name what on it nerd. and stuff. I, I, got, I had a case. I too. got pencils. I had a case. I had like hundreds of amazingly cool different pencils. No, that's real. They were like triangle. Okay, we're getting off. Triangle we're getting pencils. Off yes. <laughs> they were the rarest of kinds. Oh my god. <laughs> Gifts was my dominant trait when I was growing up, but we'll see what it is now. So first question. I like to receive notes of affirmation. I like to be hugged. I like to receive pencils. <laughs> that one. You're never gonna let that go. Okay, um. Just wait, May 16th. <laughs> You're getting a lot of pencils. I'm gonna start a P.O. box up again and I'm just gonna get a bunch of pencils, I swear. The test that I'm taking so is red. on this website called Five Love Languages and it gives you this option between two different, the test basically like, takes you through this or this. Do you like this or right. this? Or prefer this or this, etc. And so that's how they come to the conclusion. It's kind of clear, you can see where they're going with the direction of the question, but yeah. it's really just to get to gather a bunch of data of you know what you do prefer and then it sorts it and that's kind of how the test works. So I like to receive notes of affirmation or I like to be hugged. I'm gonna go with I like to be hugged and that's surprising because I used to not answer that that way. I like to spend one-on-one -on -one time with a person who is special to me. I feel loved when somebody gives me practical help. One on one time. I like it when people give me gifts. I like leisurely visits with friends and loved ones. I'm gonna go with gifts on that one. I feel loved when people do things for me, to help me, or I feel loved when people touch me. <laughs> I know, it sounds weird, right? I'm gonna say when people do things for me. I feel loved when someone I love or admire puts his arm around me. Wait, what is she gonna answer? I don't wanna do it or, yet. Or, I feel loved when I receive a gift from someone I love or admire. Oh, I don't have a pencil, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my god. Someone needs to get this girl a sugar daddy or something. <laughs> Applications down below. I like to sit close to people when I enjoy, whom I enjoy being around. I like people to tell me that I'm attractive and handsome. Definitely sitting close You're to attractive people. and handsome. Really? Are you just saying that because we're filming? I'm just saying that because we're filming. So those were just a couple of questions from the test that I wanted to answer in the video to give you an example of what the questions are going to be like. And what I scored was gifts, I knew that was going to happen, quality time, physical touch, acts of service, and then words of affirmation. Basically, I feel really special and really loved when somebody gets me a gift. And some people with the gift love language, it's like they have to give an extremely thoughtful gift, like, wow, I know that shows you really know me. And I do enjoy gifts like that. That's but mine. I, I like that. But I, I still enjoy any gift. Like, of course, <laughs> Get me anything. Like the gift is better if it says that you know me, but at the right. same time, like, if you just give me a random gift. Sure, girl, I'll take it. I mean, if you give me a pencil, then I'm gonna be like, you know me. <laughs> yeah, 
Exactly. <laughs> but if you get me a marker, I'm gonna be like, thanks for the thought, I, you thought of me. Yeah. So it, one of Ingrid's love languages is gifts as well, and I know that, and she knows that it's mine too, so like we'll randomly be at a store and I'll be like, oh, I'm gonna buy this for Ingrid, or she'll be like, oh, I'm gonna buy Kat a random gift, and it's like we both appreciate the thought of, oh, you were thinking of me when I wasn't around, and yeah. that means something to me, that makes me happy. So, gifts. Uh, my second one is quality time, and this is where, even though I don't necessarily like to spend frequent, like, large amounts of quantity time with people, I really like quality time. So when I hang out with Joey, it's like I'm asking him, like, how are you doing? What's going on in your life? Tell me how this is going and how that's going. And I'm very interested in the, the details of his life, and I feel loved when he's interested in the details of my life. So, <laughs> that sounds very relationship <laughs> And when I'm talking to someone and telling them about something that's important to me or really meaningful to me, if they're paying attention and giving me their like undivided attention, that makes me feel very important and valued. And when I'm talking about something that I really care about with somebody and they're just like texting and they're not really <gasps> oh, paying attention. Oh, that's the worst. I hate that. And or sometimes I... I do that if it's casual conversation, but if someone's talking about something that's really important and they're on their phone, I'm just like, could you just slap me in the face because there's, that's what that feels like right now. There's times like with like friends back home or like in general where like I'll like show them something important like a video or something and they'll like just be like on their phone and I'm like this is a video I work so hard on and you're not even watching it yeah and that's like oh it pisses me off so much physical touch is my third one and these are the people that really enjoy being close with people they don't always have as much personal space issues um, my little sister and my dad when I was growing up were very touch love language people. So they give me hugs all the time, rub my back, give me massages, and I would just be like, I mean, I liked it a little bit, but it, it took me some getting used to because my natural tendency is to not be super touchy unless I'm in a relationship. And if I'm in a relationship with someone, then I'm very affectionate. Like, I'll play with their hair, I'll hold their hands, like I'm just very like, -doo -doo -doo. Yeah. <laughs> but you can tell touch love language people by just the way they interact in social settings and it doesn't have to be like oh that person has a crush on that person they're touching them or they touch them but it's just people who go like this and oh you know they're just like oh they're like all over you in your space. You know who's like that? Nikki? I was just about to say Nikki because yeah. she goes like this yeah. all the time. All the time. <laughs> yeah. And um, so yeah Nikki Philippi if you're watching this you're a touch love language. Yeah. <laughs> Um, I think she's also quality time because when she's talking to yeah. people, she's just like engaged yeah, in what they're no, saying totally. and she cares totally like about what you're saying. Yeah. So Nikki, if you're watching this, shout out to confirm you, or deny, <laughs> touch and quality time. <laughs> um, <laughs> all right, acts of service is my fourth one, which is basically people doing things for me, and I actually do feel really special and somebody does something for me. I use this example in Joey's video, but he takes me to the airport and gives me rides and stuff all the time. And it makes me so happy because I know that I'm not burdening him when I ask. Like he's happy to do it because he wants to show me That's that he's right. a friend and he cares. And I hope that he would know if he ever needed a ride from me that I would happily give him one because he's given me so many rides. The last one is words of affirmation and this is, I, I do receive love through words of affirmation, but it's not my primary. And this is the people who like notes. They like cards, they send you texts of just randomly being like, hey, just wanted to say, I'm thinking about you today and I love you. And uh, my mom's primary love language is words. And every birthday, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and like every holiday you can think of, I get a card with like filled from like cover to cover of my mom like saying I feel like that's how my mom really is too. meaningful things. And it's really sweet. And yeah. Um, my mom would literally say for Christmas she would rather have a letter from me expressing how I feel about my her than a gift. The same. Yeah. That's funny. Yeah. They should write letters to each other. <laughs> they should. It could be pals. Um, and like I know that my mom, she would like get her feelings hurt if somebody threw away a card <gasps> that she... One time, I need to tell you this. Okay. I, like, on Mother's Day, I, like, didn't get my mom a card because, like, I thought, like, oh, like, I could just spend quality time with her and, like... Love she, language, she knows, miscommunication. Yeah, she knows how much I love her and blah, blah, blah. <laughs> she was so upset that I didn't get her a card. Aww. Like, she was so mad. Oh, my gosh, she's such a words person. Yeah. That's crazy. <laughs> my dad's not a, word, a card person at all. And, uh, you know, now that I think about it, words of affirmation, like, I do like to be encouraging to people, and I like to bring them up and, like, build them up with encouragement, but... 
if I, like I don't really buy people cards unless I know it's their love language. Yeah. So, anyways, those are the five love languages. I hope that you guys enjoyed hearing about them. If you haven't heard about them before, I'm gonna link down below where you can take the test. Take the test. Leave a comment down below letting me know what your type is or like what your what the order is of your love languages. And love languages are just a fun thing. It's not so much a typerific video where I'm like going into the interpersonal parts of your subconscious and describing to you like what your you know, personality type is. It's just something that's fun to do and it can really, really, really help you out in relationships and friendships because yeah. if you know somebody's love languages, then you know how to speak to them. You know, if you speak two different love languages, then you're gonna have a lot of miscommunication going on where I've been in relationships and had friends before where it's like, I don't feel like they appreciate me at all or they even like me or love me and I'm doing all that I can to show them that I care about them and they are too but we were just miscommunicating because they were speaking to me in their love languages and I was speaking in another language right. it's like you're Spanish and they were French it literally like, is like that Joey like I know you're joking but it's like that yeah you know you're speaking different languages it's you don't understand each other and so once you understand each other's language then you can communicate so much better right and it just I don't know it's something that I found that really helps and if you're having trouble communicating with someone, help them take the test and I see feel like what they are. Doing that though is almost like a uh, language in itself. Well, not like in itself, but like choosing like um, acts of service because you're taking the time to oh, yeah, show yeah, someone yeah. that you care about their love language by working. Well, you're just saying that because you're an acts of service love language. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but you're right. Like that's it's totally true. It's like some people will make the effort to make a relationship better and some people won't. And that could be an active service love language person. Alright, well thank you so much for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up. A big thumbs up if you like it. Two thumbs yeah. up if you really like it. Five thumbs up. If you have ten YouTube accounts, log into all of them. That's my love languages. L liking my video and subscribing. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, kind of. So, Joey and I made a video. Be sure to check out his channel, subscribe to him, watch his video, like it, all that fun stuff and um that's it i will see you guys what were you, were you next time something? and make sure you guys all send cat pencils i knew you were gonna say like, that down below to her address okay all right all right bye, bye. see you guys next tuesday